Have you got busted ass Zedema bits? I'm pretty sure everybody has a couple of Zedema kits. And as we know, the arms like to break at the motor mount. So, in this series, I will try to attempt to rework ZMA, broken ZMA parts frames into other frames. So, let's call this the ZM rework project. Okay. Now, I've already done an, uh, the ZMA spider, which is a 210 size. Now, this one will be a 180. Now for this ZM rework, we're going to do a 180 frame. It's going to be a fairly strange configuration. Um, slightly narrower at the front wingspan, slightly larger at the back wingspan, so it's like a reverse dead cat. So it'd be interesting to see how this one flies. Uh, so, plates required. Um, this is just some random plate, but there's a APM mount actually, but you can just use anything that will span the top distance when we're done, and you'll see later. But really, you can get that exact piece out of a top plate, a ZMI top plate. But I've got none of those, they're broken. So, for this we need the inserts, or nuts. For M3, we've got a base plate. Now this base plate snapped in half from hard impact, and so basically this is the other end. It's just trimmed down. All right, and four arms, all broken at the same spot. Okay, now first, now what you're going to do is. All ZMA arms for some reason have the two holes here unless you get the custom dowel ones. So, I think there were four standoffs to be used as legs. So the first, the very first hole from the motor, we enlarge that out. Alright, the very first holes from the motor on the arm, you need to enlarge that out to accommodate your um, shaft and circlip for the motor. So this is drilled out for 1806. I think it's 18 mil across there and 12 mil across there. Basic. That leaves those untouched. Drill out four of them, making sure that the way you drill them out, the orientation is so that your wires are facing this way. Now, because you're going to remember, we'll round this all off so that they're all the same. So that when we come to the CCW, CW motors, you can just flip them over as per usual. Now, once you've got your four arms drilled out for your motor, whatever you're going to use, AD06 in this case, you come to the half base plate that you have, and then you take an arm. Now, the first two top holes are the ones we're lining up. So, Front, the first hole will go to where the camera, original ZMR camera standoff hole is. And then the second hole will line up with the inner part of the camera standoff slot, camera plate slot. So there and there. Run a 3mm drill bit through here. And that'll allow you to then lock that in place. So that gives you the position of your rear arms. Do the same on the other side. Ba -doom, ba -doom. Like so. For the back. <coughs> now for the back, what you're going to line up is this hole right here and this diagonally opposite hole. So you're going to go, the bottom hole will go to where the ZMA flight controller holes are and then there should be a standoff hole above that and it should line up pretty perfectly. 
there. That's the same on the other side, and that's your rear arm layout. I mean front arm layout, sorry. Then, for the other half of the ZMR base plate, basically, I'm not going to need it, all of it. So what you do is just lay it straight over the top. <laughs> Bloody birds. <laughs> you lay it straight over the top of the arms once they're there. And the standoff holes should line up with where the flight controller is. Now this basically is just going to be a plate to tie the forearms together. Not just the base plate, because the base plate on its own is only 2 mil. Righto mates. I got my friends over. Little birds. What's up buddy? <laughs> hey mate. Okay, now for the top plate, basically, uh, I'll save that for later. <laughs>